So the big picture for this lesson is spanning trees. Now a spanning tree, now before talking about spanning trees, we need to talk about trees. And I'm not talking about the kind that grow in the ground. This is related to networks. So some examples of networks, data networks for mobile devices, uh, electric utility grids, TV satellite networks. All these things require communication between one node or another. And in terms of vertex edge modeling, the vertices are nodes. So a node would be like where an electrical tower is or telephone pole or where a transmitter is for a network, those types of things. Okay, so what makes a tree is you have a single collection of edges connected. So, that's an example of a tree. That's an example of a tree, this whole thing. And this is not a tree because they aren't connected. So now a spanning tree connects all the vertices at least once. Okay, so let's back up a little bit here. Okay, so let's say you have this network here. And each of these has some value, like 8, 12, 13, let's go 12 here again, 15. I'm just kind of randomly assigning these values. Okay, so let's say it's like that. So in terms of designing networks, what you want to do is you want to minimize the cost or the distance. So whether these numbers represent cost or distance, you need to find the minimum spanning tree. And you can do that using Kruskal's algorithm. So basically you start with the shortest edge and you just build out from that until you have completed a spanning tree for the network. Okay, so we're going to do 8 first because that's the shortest one. And the shortest one that connects to 8 is 12. And then 12 again because your choices are 12 or 13. And then 14 is shorter than 15. And then you're actually done here because every vertex is now connected in the tree, so you have a spanning tree. And to find the value of the minimum spanning tree, you just add these up. So 8, 12, 12, 14, you add those, and that's going to make the minimum spanning tree for your network. So it's 8 and 12 is 20, 32, 46. So that's the big picture for this lesson.